Seduction of the Year, the new member showcase. Woo! And for those of you that don't know what that is, for those of you that don't know what that is, it's a selection of short pieces, some written by myself and my amazing co-director Fred Kirby. To show off the amazing new talent that has joined Shoreline Theatre this year. <coughs> um, health and safety, fire exits are at the back. Or at the back. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't done my job. Two points! Two points! Right, back over there, on the right for you guys over there, and through there if there is a fire. Our so next big production <laughs> are the One Acts, which is Breakfast Club and Forever Young, which are going to be on the 19th and 20th of November. So make sure to come along to that. I hope all of you enjoy the show. That's right, Father. You always know everything, don't you, Rabbit? Mm. Yes, it knows as much as it smells. <laughs> you smell even worse. And you are just an illiterate, uneducated, and uncultured. So I'm all drunken and half empty bottle of vodka. Oh, how worried of you! So, why is the half onion crying? She spit off from her half, didn't she? <laughs> 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 Naughty! Please, tell us, Miss Onion. I am not a miss. I am a missus. I am Mrs. Courgette, or at least that's what I thought. You are married to a Mr. Courgette? Well, um, Mr. and Mrs. Courgette are by any means married. Now I myself have celebrated this union last night. Whilst you were all sleeping, of course. Who's this uh, Mr. Courgette, then? I don't see any Courgette around here. You see, you see, he's doing it again. <laughs> what do you mean you don't see any gorgette? You are a gorgette. You are Monsieur Gorgette. That is how you introduced yourself to us yesterday. Oh, you must be mistaken. I am a cucumber and always will be until someone serves me their delicious garden salad with pure olive oil. And you are meant to be eaten cooked in all sorts of ways. By boiled, sauteed with butter and onion. Butter and onion? I would never go with such dairy product and vegetable species. I'd much rather go with tomatoes. 
Wouldn't I? <laughs> you see? He hates me! He scares me to death! It's worse than Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde! You talk to me? <laughs> <laughs> this seems like a piece of double identity. Mm. No. What? This is a clear case of possession! <laughs> <laughs> Quite right. There's only one thing to do in a situation like this. Vodka, please. Mm. Is it not supposed to be holy water? And just pass it down.
gone on about how crispy your eyes were. Say, you changed after her. Things cold after she left. You never wanted anyone to die. Especially not the way that he did. Slowly, painfully, in a hospital. Alone. We gathered here today to remember someone who's passed away, to celebrate their life, to remember the good times you had with someone. So, when I was asked to do this, I sat down and I made a list. I sat there for hours staring at this blank. Nothing. He wasn't evil. He, he never hit me or beat me, but he didn't love me. He never loved anyone except her. It makes this day sadder for me the most. He never doubted my father's love. He always did what was best for me, what was good for me. He always had my best intentions at heart. Towards the end, I began to see my mother in me. I coined me her name by accident, of course. <laughs> but after a while, it was all he could see in me. He forgot about me, the real me. Sacrificed my father a long time ago. I stood by him. I mean, I wanted to. I still loved him. But for him, I was only his wife, his love. This wasn't the love that I wanted. This wasn't the goodbye that I wanted. Is our creepy though? There's something really sexy about some of them though. Uh, no. Something about Goofy and those big cancers. What is he hiding? Well, I guess the little mermaid is kind of. well. Sexy? I've got a text. What's it say? I've got a text. <laughs> wait. Please wait. That's it. Again. So, enjoy a few minutes of peace and quiet. When is the last time you just sat and did nothing? Why do I want to do that? It's relaxing. Relaxing? You don't know what that means, do you? I just wonder if we're in the wrong place. They're locked. I've tried them already. Well, why is it locked? No clue, but they all are. Right, look. You go check that door, and I'll check this one back here. Okay. Locked. What are yours? Locked, too. <laughs> <laughs> Signals. Give it back. Sit. Sit and relax for five minutes and you can have it back. Why would I do that? Otherwise, I'm going to break it. Don't be dare. Sit. 
sit and do nothing for five minutes and I'll give it back. Five seconds, maybe. You can't sit you can't sit still and do nothing. I'm gonna do that. So I was gonna break it, like I said. Who's that? Hello? Hello? No, he's not here right now. Can I send a message? Hello? Hello? Oh, hung up. Maybe I did that. Some of the red and the button girls. That's a private number. I can't even ring them back. No cell service anyway. Wait, where are you standing? Try standing like I was too. <laughs> <laughs> you don't really sound like that. Maybe. So why do you think we both got asked to be here then? I don't know. <coughs> why are you rubbing my back? Attraction. A few years ago? A few years? Yeah, there was this one meeting we were both at, and every time you looked, you got up on stage to do this big speech, every time you looked at me, your eyes stopped and we were never going on anyone else, and you stumbled on your words a little. Maybe it was that low cut shirt I was wearing that day. <laughs> oh. I don't remember, I mean, maybe. Well, maybe it was that short skirt I was wearing, I was sitting like this. <laughs> Gee, I, um, I do I can't believe you liked me. It's not important. Well, important? Look, I didn't think anything would happen, so I didn't say anything. Well, why wouldn't it work out? Never mind. Is it your phone? Oh, yeah. What does it say? I need your business. Please tell me. No. Well, why is your phone getting signal when I'm not? I have the best phone. No, I have one of the best. Which is so important. You need the best. Wait, now you're not being nice at all. What happened? Never mind. Can we please change the subject again? And that door shut! It doesn't open from the inside, remember? Almost had it. No reception. That's <laughs> fine out there. It's locked. It's locked. Tell me about well, James, right? Don't you work on the 10th floor with me? Marketing or something? Marketing, yeah. Can't have any time, I'll give you a real talk. Very nice. He's a nice man, isn't he? What's that supposed to be? Right, nice then how did I end up with you? What, well, you two know each other? I thought I was a boyfriend. Maybe a lot of guys think that. You know that's not true. She has a reputation on my floor. I've never been with anyone else. I, I've never seen any guys. Come down to my floor sometime. She gets around. Yeah, but you just spread that around when it meets and I'm excited with you. Did that make any sense? Of all people to be stuck with, this is just great. You have missed the 10th floor executive here. It was a lot nicer when it was just the two of us. Oh, I bet it was. Wait, it wasn't like that at all. What if it was? Hey. It's okay, he <coughs> needs to know. Know what? Wait, this is all weird, really fast. What's going on? She's playing games as usual. Me? You're the king of games. I've never felt so Hey, let go of her! Oh. Hey, what are you doing? Putting a stop to this. You won't shoot. I will. <laughs> <laughs> Always defending those who needed it. This is different! No, it's not. I need 
be the same way here too. You set this up! Does huh? anyone know how to stop him? But I've killed him! You protected me! Oh, you ruined! No, you'll be a hero! We have to go. I want to go too. Where? Anywhere, as long as it's away from here. Airport. Flight ZB1377 to Malaga, now boarding at gate 40. Good afternoon, welcome to the Airlines. How may I help you today? I'd like to purchase a round trip ticket London to Edinburgh. Okay, let me see. <laughs> yes, it'll be slightly at least two hours. Would you like to do that? Yes, please do. First, we have a few questions. Would you like to see the next to the emergency exit? That's just fine. Is there an extra fee? Yes. If you're five to ten seats near emergency exit, that'll be an extra £25. An emergency exit seat is £150. Well, I guess where I sit is not that important. Do you have any baggage you would like to check? Oh, well, yes. One bag. I really don't think I'll have any beverage other than coffee. Well, you're in luck. Today we'll give coffee and cup for free. Sounds great. I can only charge you £1.25 for sugar, okay. £1.25 for cream, and £75p for the spoon. Why, that comes to £3.25 for a cup of coffee. I guess I'll have my coffee before my board. Well, then I imagine you'll be using the aircraft's lavatory. We do charge the nominal per person lavatory use fee of £5. I must add, though, that as a non-class first-class passenger, if you use the first-class lavatory, there is a £500 pound fine. Are you kidding me? We have travel with any infants or children under three, because we do have a £75 pound crying baby fee. No! <laughs> do you have any carry-on luggage? Why, well, yes. My travel bag. Well, that's fine. Thank you. 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 That'll be an extra £60. What? How can you charge that much? Sir, it's the airline's policy, not mine. Do you wish me to issue a ticket? Well, I have no choice. I have a meeting late this afternoon. Let's see. That will be £967.25. Are you sure that's correct? <laughs> <laughs> Incidentals and special fees. Yes. Incidental fees include £5 electrical energy surcharge for use of the overhead reading lap. Safe landing fees include £75 and you also charge for the guy who stands next to the cabin exit door and does absolutely nothing! Oh, if you use the overhead call light to pay your steward or stewardess, there is an inconvenience fee of £15 per call, as well as special emergency fees. SPECIAL EMERGENCY FEES! <laughs> In the event of an emergency, there are special emergency fees. It will include the use of the emergency exit fee, which is £5 in the event of an un un unscheduled emergency evacuation, as well as a flotation device surcharge of £15. In any case, emergency or not, we will refund you the £15 flotation device surcharge if you return your flotation receipt option in its original condition, accompanied by its original receipt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, so we change. Our, option, our emergency option is coin operated and only accepts small change. No, I fucking don't! <laughs> this must be your lucky day. The airline is whether the arrival time passenger penalty fee, as well as the £5 open air circulation fee, that is a saving of 
that counts. Oh yes, please remember the end of your flight for exiting the cabin. Do not forget to be generous to our, to our staff with an exceptional service fee. A tip jar is located at the cabin exit. And you have a nice flight. And thank you again for flying with Overalls Airlines. Go kill yourself. <laughs> sitting down like for ages and, and I was trying to get up to, to leave the room but this kid kept, kept standing in my way and blocking me, playing some sort of game or something. So I told him, right, that he was a dickhead and he was going to move out of my way, dickhead! And then everything went quiet because I said dickhead. And then they was all laughing, all of them. And I wasn't sure whether it was because I'd swore because they could see my shorts were wet. So I tried to cover my shorts in my hands, but that meant everyone saw, and then it was more laughing. But, uh, but yeah, my brother, Peter, youngest ever six or something, and they're the ones in charge, sixers, dip, dip, dip. do all the knots him. Him and dad would practice. He loved it. <clears throat> but uh, Sixer, yeah, he, uh, he stands up and he, and he takes me to the toilet. And he has me take my shorts off and cleans me up. And then he, he takes his shorts off and gives them to me. And then he kisses my cheek and he takes me back in there. Just me and him. Him in his pants. And no one laughed. Best day of my life. I can't pee in front of an audience. I get stage fright. Oh crap, he's going for this. Oh shit, he's right next to me. Oh, there's four fucking urinals he's sitting right next to me. Oh, why is there a gap? There's always a gap. It's like the code or something. Oh, why is he looking at me? He's so fucking confident. He unnerves me a lot. Come on. Keep calm. Stay loose. We're going to get back to the game. Holy fucking shit! Look at the size of that thing! That's like a fucking horse pipe! You put out a burning building with that thing! Oh, for fuck's sake, he hasn't, he's, he's pissing, I haven't even started yet! Come on! Let's go to the wall. Get your waterfalls. 
That's it. Keep going. Yeah, there we go. Nope, wait, that's not me. Yeah, he's splashing me. He's fucking <laughs> splashing on me! <laughs> right, that's it. Say your manliness. Say something about football. Go on, tell a joke. You know, lads? Uh, if we hear a rock, I'm gonna have to run in there with weed on my leg. Oh my god! <laughs> I fucking suck! I'm not a lad, I'm a 40 year old in a man's body. I'm gonna go piss in the stall like the lady I am. I think I need to poo instead. Poo? <laughs> <laughs> really? Come on, man, you can do better than this. I'm going piss in the stall. Wait, 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 wait. Is that a cane? He's wearing sunglasses. He's blind. Oh, he's blind. Oh, I haven't put myself over at all. Oh, celebration, <laughs> he can't see you anyways. <laughs> he can't hear you though. <laughs> Sorry there, mate, you slept. Yeah, I saw. Wait, you <laughs> saw? What do you mean you saw? Oh, he's one of those wankers that wear sunglasses inside, isn't he? Oh, I'm fucked now. By the way, I'm, uh, can we get that checked out? <laughs> yeah, thanks. Let me piss in peace, you prick! <laughs> So, 
I'm fearful going. I can't take any more, Alison. He's about to go outside the marriage, which, believe it or not, I'm fine with. But I want it to be with someone I trust. And you need a job. A better job. Why don't you do this one fucking thing for me, for fuck's sake? I'm not saying I'll do it. But I'm not saying I won't. How would this work? Well, we could set a schedule at the beginning of every week. How can you guarantee he'll be in the mood? He's always in the mood. <laughs> Fair enough. What kind of, you know, landscaping is he like? Clean. With like a landing strip. Positions? We'll put the standard three in the contract. Anything beyond that, you don't have a pay. Good, because I don't feel like getting eggs behind my head. <coughs> Remember, I was a cheerleader. How could I give some yoga lessons? I can shoot for these, that body is. And, uh, what could you bring to the table? DVDs, condoms. Extra large, I might add. Mm -hmm. I told you, it wasn't the dick. But we'll supply with birth control. That uh, won't have to come out of your way. And Brad's okay with this. Brad thinks it's a great idea. I always thought you were cute. Brad thinks I'm cute. Especially since the Jenny Craig. Guys like him don't usually think girls like me are attractive. He was so good in school. Everyone fancied him. I was in the chess club. <laughs> You're in a high league that you think you are, Alison. Thank you. And anyway, when's the last time you had a good roll in the head? Roll in the hay. Is there a bright golden haze on the meadow too? Since uni, I bet. I've had sex since uni, Penny. Oh yeah. When? You don't know everything about my life. Yes, I do. You tell me everything. I bet it was at uni. I bet it was that gagging guy from Swansea Bent. That geek <laughs> who you, Buffy and Claire, made me break up with. So here's my chance to make that up to you. Don't you miss that physical intimacy with man? Wouldn't that feel nice? Come on, Alison, what do you say? This is a win-win here. Please. Why me, Penny? Haven't I gone through, like, a thousand reasons? It's not like we'll be banging a secretary. The three of us have some history. What if this starts messing with your relationship? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> you're, you're worried that Brad might fall for you? <laughs> People bond when they have sex on a regular basis. Wouldn't you be more worried about the reverse? So you're saying there's no way that Brad could fall for you? Basically, yeah. No way in the infinite universe would Brad want to leave you for me if we became involved. It's not involved, it's a paycheck. And no, I'm not worried. Mating is an exact science. Again with the league theory. That's right. If you mate outside your league, the person league below will always be worried that the person in the league above will straight for something better. And the person above will resent that it's settled, I remember. So, you'll do it? Fuck you, Penelope. What's wrong? You basically just sat there and told me that Brad would never fall for me because I'm too ugly for him and you're still thinking I'm going to do this. Yeah, you're, you know, you're bonkers. No one says you're bonkers anymore, Alison. That's exactly why you're going to do this for me. People like you need people like me. Amazing. <laughs> have any sort of meaningful social life at all. And you're getting the chance to fuck a guy you wouldn't be able to get in a million years. And we both know it. I mean, I love Brad, but I simply can't fuck him for a while. So if I lose it because of that, it'll be your missed opportunity. Don't see why it's such a crime to acknowledge this. We all know it's true. Okay, here's the deal. Okay, do it. Not under the current terms. You're making a mistake. You're my friend, and I love you, Penny, so I'm going to tell it to you to it straight. You may think you're extending this great opportunity to me here, but what you're forgetting is that there's, there's a blessing in not being gorgeous. Oh yeah, we have to work a whole lot harder at being real human beings. And it seems presently apparent that the bottom line is your husband's getting sick of your high maintenance shallow ass. <laughs> now as I've said, I love you, but I don't like you all that much, and you've pissed me off enough today that I'm willing to prove it to you. I'll still fuck your husband if you'd like. I'll do it because I want to, not because you're paying me. I'll do it because I can, as long as we establish who's doing the favour here. 
Okay, so still? You bet. Good. I'll come to work. I'll be wearing the new overalls. Only the new overalls. You guys don't regret this. Keep dreaming, my friend. <laughs>
What? Please! This is my final wish! Just kiss me, goddammit! Singing was your final wish? Well, I lied! <laughs> Clearly I'm delirious from all this blood loss! I'm a vegan. <laughs> <laughs> and sick. 
and now I've seen Kevin Snoopy by Sophocles. Citizen! <laughs> Let's go. I am not. 
A smoky. <laughs> Martin Luther King. I have a smoky. <laughs> um, Bill Clinton. Smoke him if you got him. <laughs> what? I don't know. Give me an easier one. Ruth Bader Ginsburg. <laughs> easier. Abraham Lincoln. Let my smokies go! I do believe that's Moses. <laughs> <laughs> is it? No, four score and seven smokies have been there. This isn't Moses. Um, how about we try three at once? Okay, okay. Um, Billy Connolly, Steve Irwin, and that guy over there. Hey, thank you, man! I've been here, I smoke and do it like that. It's twice, mate. Look, there's a drop dial over there, it's the size of my head. And it's smoking! <laughs> Um, um, smoking. <laughs> How was that? That well, sucked. <laughs> yeah, I got one. God. God? Then let us start at the beginning. In the beginning, there was smoking. No, I meant the, the actual beginning. <laughs> Why, yes, I do. And, and see. <laughs> <laughs>